हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ भूमित फ्रॉम कॉलेज दुनिया टूडे आई एम एट गुजरात मेरी टाइम यूनिवर्सिटी विच इज लोकेटेड गांधीनगर गुजरात टूडे वी आर हैविंग विद अस डॉक्टर चिराग पटेल सर ही इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एच आर एम एट स्कूल ऑफ मेरी टाइम मैनेजमेंट गुजरात मेरी टाइम यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो सर वेलकम टू एजुकेशन पटेल कॉलेज दुनिया हेलो सर हेलो सर वेलकम सो सर स्टार्टिंग विद क्वेश्चन आर सेशन माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू इज हाउ डज द करिकुलम ऑफ योर इंस्टीट्यूट इंसर्ट द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस ऑफ इंडस्ट्री Uh, basically when you are talking of curriculum it should be directly associated with the industry where uh, in 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 which uh, the university is associated with so basically as our university is completely a niche university and it's completely focused on maritime industry we are having lots and lots of webinars which we conduct so that we are able to give a direct touch to the students on how the industry works that is one thing plus the designing of the curriculum has been done by copenhagen business school and uh, they are one of the best b school in this uh, industry so basically uh, we do have a backing from the industry uh, the copenhagen business school is that which has designed the curriculum and on that we do have uh, on a regular scale uh, we do make the changes uh every 3 years of course that's what we are planning out to make the changes in the curriculum depending upon the industry so we go to the industry we have we arrange this webinars from the industry people top executives from the industry people so that we are able to understand the industry depending upon their requirement we are establishing our curriculum so that the students are getting placed very nicely explain about the question sir Thank so sir, coming to the next question what do you think your roles and responsibility to the institute and the students are uh, basically the roles and responsibility that me as an assistant professor that i have one as a faculty it's uh, very clear that i should give the best teaching to the students uh, should have uh, more and more of practical examples that needs to be delivered in the classroom and that's what we do it by going through various case studies and that is how our teaching pedagogy is we are having a unique style of teaching pedagogy in which we being a very niche uh, kind of a course of mba shipping and logistics we try to give to the students a perspective of uh, maritime industry and that's what i feel as a faculty though i am teaching hrm or though i am teaching ob what type of activities are happening in the industry with respect to these various courses that needs to be delivered to the students and that's what i am doing it uh, that is the first basic role which i play as a faculty the second responsibility towards the uh, whole university is maybe with respect to some kind of admin activities which is helping the students to grow in their uh, in 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 their activities they are able to understand the industry in a much more better way we we try to coordinate uh, various types of uh, uh, various types of uh, industry exposures uh, like uh, port visits are there we have sip me as a convener of sip into uh, final placements plus simultaneously admission convener i just try to see that the activities that are happening in the university is much more smooth and up so basically my role towards the students is to give a industry exposure with regards to the uh, topics that i teach so that they are getting placed and secondly with regards to certain admin activities which is able to help the students which is able to groom the students that's what i see as a roles and responsibility of me as a faculty Very well said, sir. So on that note, sir, my next question to you: When you first came to university, what was your vision for the institute? Has it evolved over time, and how far along in implementing that vision are you? Uh, actually, the vision, yes, we do have a vision to be the uh, center of excellence in teaching, to be the center of excellence in research and development in this sector. That is the maritime industry. and uh, the university has been evolving over the years towards this vision 
how very nicely we had having a tie up with various foreign universities Erasmus University Copenhagen Business School we are also planning to have uh, various tie up with other foreign universities also so that we can be the center of excellence to for uh, for for this industry so that is how we are moving ahead so sir coming to the next question what would you like people to know about your university that they may not know ha uh, yes basically our university is a very unique kind of a setup we have because uh, we are a niche university which is specially focusing on maritime industry and uh, specific to this course or specific to this university we have very two players two major players who are supporting us on one hand we are having gujarat maritime board which is supporting us uh, in 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 case of the industry exposure in case of uh, various activities that needs to be uh, that needs to be carried out and on the another hand we are having gnl so on one hand we are having the industry key player that is gujarat maritime board who is supporting us and on the another hand we do have gujarat national law university on the campus of which as of now we are located uh, shortly of course we will be shifting once the building is getting ready we will be shortly we will be shifting to gift city that also will be a very unique kind of high tech uh, uh, building we will be coming up in gift city so the kind of advantage that gujarat maritime university as of now it's getting is uh, we have the industry support of uh, gujarat maritime board which is helping in the placements in the summer internships and on the another hand we have a very good academic support of gujarat national law university and uh, with the curriculum set up with the infrastructure that we have that makes a very unique uh, proposal to the students so sir jumping to the last question any suggestions you would like to give to the current youth for the aspiring uh, students sir? yes basically usually the students what they have is uh, when they select a pg course post graduation course directly blindly they follow uh, the friend circle blindly they follow the crowd so i would suggest uh, or i would give a uh, suggestion to the students that uh, once prior to joining a uh, any uh, post graduation program the students need to further see that what type of uh, what what type of activities are going on in that university what type of exposure is that in that uh, program that you are selecting uh, further what type of infrastructure academic infrastructure is available in that university what type of uh, other infrastructures like uh, library books classrooms uh, are they uh, are those things available or not talk to the faculty talk to the uh, students over there so that you will get a overall perspective and lastly when you are selecting any kind of pg uh, post graduation program because usually post graduation program would be the uh, last teaching that a student would be doing and directly he or she would be jumping into the corporate world so what kind of advantage by doing the pg program a one one student can get that needs to be understood properly uh, is the program directly suitable to the industry that needs to be understood what type of demand and supply is there in the industry with regards to uh that program that needs to be seen and then and then only the student needs to select the program thank you very well say sir it definitely helped a lot to the students sir so sir thank you so much for uh, giving such a uh, informative information about your university sir thank you so much for being a part of college dunia thanks sir. a lot thank you thank you very much